I think what is interesting about open source software, when I first started programming, open source software wasn't that much of a thing, right? Um, it was more hobbyist. There wasn't Linux. There wasn't, you know, uh, all of the open source tooling that we use today. And, and I remember, actually, if you look back on, on Google, uh, when they first started up, sort of deploying hardware, commodity hardware, and running Linux on it was something that most startups, most companies that were serious didn't really do at the time. They were racking expensive Sun hardware. And that is not really what you see these days, right? It's almost inconceivable to start a startup without starting with open source, without using thousands of libraries that you don't have to write yourself, um, without tapping in to, to GitHub, to, to the open source ecosystem that exists, and not reinventing the wheel anymore. And that, I think, helped productivity across the board for everybody in software development, for everybody running startups, for everybody creating software. But now, we're seeing this again, right? My software development process has changed the largest that has changed in 20 years, in the last six months, because I use OpenAI every day to help me solve problems, to help me generate code. I use Copilot every day, where I'll just write a, a comment and then let it type for me, right? I'm typing less today than I was before. And I think for most software developers, that's the case. And if we're work, trying to make software development tooling, we have to look to the future and figure out what does software development look like in a year. So what I'd like to share today is what I think software development and open source looks like in the near future. Um, and I would love to be able to talk to people after this if you have, especially if you disagree, because it's important for what I do and for what I'm building to get this right, or to at least have some idea of where it's going. So. Because I'm typing less, and uh, the, the first thing that, that I'll, I'll throw out there that I think to be true is that the text editor is going to start to die. I don't think that software developers will be using text editors in 10 years. I think we'll start seeing a trend away from them where we will start writing our code by having a conversation with an AI system that's mo a slightly more sophisticated but similar to the process that we do today. Um, What's interesting about software development is that it is, uh, if you hire 100 software developers or 1,000 software developers and you say solve this problem, you'll get 1,000 different solutions to that particular problem. And I think that what's interesting about AI is that it is also non-deterministic, right? You can ask AI to solve one problem and do it a thousand times and you get a thousand different ways. And so what I see as the future of software development is to be better at saying, here's what the problem set is, and here's how I want it to be solved at a high level. Having AI generate a thousand different versions of it, having AI test a thousand different versions of it, give you the top two or three, you choose and you start orchestrating solutions to, to problems. And that is very interesting from the prospect of how are we actually writing this code? How are we actually running this code? Because if an AI is doing that for you, then it becomes a conversation. Then, then it's an orchestration. Then it's something where you're saying, change this, change that, give me new versions, give me new versions. And I think that that's where software development uh, is moving in the future. And if that happens, then that has big implications for open source and collaboration as well. Because what's really interesting about open source is how difficult it is. It's very difficult to contribute to an open source project. You have to maintain it. You have to take contributions. It's difficult to contribute to an open source project. I know thousands of developers, hundreds of developers well, and not all of them are open source maintainers. Not all of them are open source contributors. But I think if our AI tools are collaborating with each other, if we move open source from being project and library based um, to also being recipe based and solution based, and instead of hundreds of thousands of them on GitHub that you, you would be able to pull from, there's millions of them, there's billions uh, of solutions to very specific problems that are tested and verified and collaborated by the AI systems that are writing these software for us. Um, and that's where I'd like to, to see open source go. That's what I'm excited about in the world of software development is opening up who can be software developers, having less of a difference between no code and code solutions where you're saying, here's the solution I want. You're getting solutions to come back. You have a conversation about how that works. And then at the end of the cycle, you can say, I want this verified solution to be part of the open source ecosystem. Because when the AI systems are starting to share with each other, are starting to collaborate the way that open source helped everybody not reinvent the wheel 
uh, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, then I think that is what I'm the most excited about. So thank you very much for having me, and uh, I hope to talk to you all today. <laughs>